We don't have much evidence about managing pediatric patients uh, with CMLCP in the TKI era. I mean, whatever data we have are from sh small institutional studies. Uh, we do need more data, but as of now, the treatment is mainly guided by evidence from adult studies and guidelines. Uh, however, I mean, whatever data we have shows that children do very well when started on first-line TKI, for example, imatinib and there is no reason or no uh, compelling data at the moment to suggest that we should start a second generation TKI for, a, for children who present with CMLCP as has been the practice recently in the adult circle. So yeah, pediatric CML is really challenging uh, as you can uh, easily understand that whatever treatment that happens to children happens during a time of active growth and development. Uh, organs are also not fully mature which mature with time and uh, when they are under the effect of uh, TKI which can cause a lot of off target effects in these children, uh, we are up for a distinct set of complications or long term toxicities in children uh, as compared to adults. In addition to what the adults would see, we would also see many more toxicities and many more things that would last for life. For example, uh, children who are on TKI, they suffer uh, in the terms of their growth and development. Uh, uh, many of uh, our children that we manage uh, do have short stature because of obvious effects of imatinib on the growth potential of these children. Uh, apart from that, we do see a lot of other toxicities including uh, poor bone health, delay in pubertal onset, as well as uh, problems with reproductive health in children. Uh, the study that I am presenting here in this conference, uh, we have clearly mentioned that uh, many of our children who are of reproductive age, uh, especially the boys, they have defective sperm quality, uh, which we think is partly due to the treatment that they, have, they are on for a long time. Managing children uh, takes a lot more effort when it comes to CML because you'll have to follow these children up for a long time. So there is a uh, thing called transition to adult care which also has to be done uh, slowly but steadily of course. Uh, all these children need to be routinely monitored for the long term toxicities that we have just mentioned and uh, an early referral for uh, intervention in case a toxicity can be addressed has to be made. I mean we can't uh, delay the detection of a toxicity because at that point maybe it would be not treatable anymore.